This is going to be a used gear review of the Alpenstar's Bionic Tech V2 protection jacket and also some recent modifications I made to increase the rib protection for off-road riding. You'll have to excuse the audio here. Um, I tried to narrate from my shop but the echo was really bad so I'm just overdubbing it here. Now the Alpenstar's Bionic Tech V2 uh, compression jacket uh, is a really nice piece. I bought mine used for about $120 I think on Facebook Marketplace. New they're going to run you um, I think two to three hundred dollars. Um, I'm wearing a size extra large. I'm about six foot three and currently right around 230 to 35 pounds. Um, the shirt itself fits me a little snug but it's a compression shirt so it's sort of made to do that but i like that it keeps the armor nice um, and, and firm in place it's got a nice long back protector that i just showed off which is ce2 rated a chest protector that's ce2 rated um, shoulder and elbow protectors that are ce1 rated and then some lighter padding throughout the shirt including a little bit of padding in the compression shirt around the ribs but no real substantial rib protection. And that was something that um, has always sort of bothered me. So I also have an Alpenstar's um, Nucleon KR3 back protector that I wear for street riding. And it has a little zip up rib, um, excuse me, it has a little zip up chest protector and it came with these hard plastic rib protectors that mount on the kidney belt. They're not huge, but they offer some protection. And I noticed that the uh, Bionic Tech jacket has the same size kidney belt built in as the Nucleon back protector. And I thought, oh, I can just move these little plastic rib protectors over to my jacket when i when i'm riding off road and then when i'm back on road if i want i can throw them back on the um, road back protector that i use so i'm holding them right here and i'm not sure actually which which way goes forward but i you know found the way that's most comfortable for me and i was able to uh, incorporate those into my jacket to get a little bit of extra riding protection um, i don't know if they're ce rated or anything but they have a hard um, a hard plastic shell on the exterior and you can move them around to get them comfortable and then tighten up that kidney belt to make sure they stay in place. My two gripes with this setup is that the protection is a little small and uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of coverage and it also sits pretty low so it really is closer to the upper part of my hip and probably only would give protection to those lower ribs but not the upper ribs um, the lower ribs do tend to be the more fragile ones but um, as we all know a, a hard impact is going to crack what it's going to crack so uh, i was hoping for something that would be a little bit more substantial i'll zoom in here on the pad so you can see sort of how they fit and you can see the coverage um, as you can see it sits a little low and it leaves those upper ribs exposed and the overall coverage isn't massive or anything better than certainly better than the jacket without them on it so my creative solution was to buy a carding rib protector i ended up buying a used protector from armadillo um, and it it's a velcro on system that had suspenders that could be removed and um, the carding Drivers require protection from the seats that can really bruise them up. It's like a semi hard, you can hear me hitting it. So, this protector from Armadillo has some flex to it, and it also um, is pretty tough material. So, it's kind of got a hard but flexible exterior. And with removing the um, suspenders from the setup, it let me just kind of wrap it right around my torso, um, sort of underneath the chest protector but over the back protector and it kind of sits in place
there are two adjustment straps that help cinch it up and keep it uh, nice and firm but let your lungs expand fully and it, it rests right in place and forms right around my body and doesn't add too much bulk or anything so I was pretty happy with that and I did buy it used for only 30 or 40 dollars I think new they run a little bit over a hundred dollars though so if you hunt around for rib protectors online you can find some good used ones I'll add that while the Rib protector is pretty hard on the outside. There is sort of a soft memory foam on the inside that makes it pretty comfortable to wear. And I'm going to cut back to the original audio in a second once I uh, get this thing strapped up. Um, just so you can hear again me knocking against it with my fist and it gives a pretty good wrap. You can kind of tell how, um, how dense and hard the, the protector is. Probably somewhat like a tech vest or something. Okay, so now that is much better. Um, I'm wearing it up here. In this. So you can really hear how hard that is and see how much more coverage that gives than the uh, other rib protectors I had added from my Nucleon back protector. Um, it doesn't seem to impede my movement. I can twist and go you know, lean sideways and move around just fine. I think the real test will be riding it in hot weather. Um, it doesn't, you know, have any holes for breathing or anything, but, um, you know, a tech vest or something similar to that, I think would probably have about the same level of heat. But the nice thing is it doesn't uh, wrap around my whole body. It's just mainly the, the ribs. And um, uh, so therefore the cooling might not be so bad. Uh, I do like that it wraps, you know, pretty far around the back and pretty far around the front too. So it really protects the full ribs. So hopefully I never have to test it out in a crash or anything, but um, I'm going to try to wear it uh, as much as I can this summer, depending on the heat. And um, I'll give more feedback um, if it is a, uh, something that works or something that is, is terrible. Um, so again, you know, for for not too much money, I was able to cobble together some pretty um, high-level armor. And um, between the Alpenstars um, Tech V2 jacket and this armadillo rib protector, I, I feel like my upper body, at least, is is pretty protected, but still has a lot of um, ability to maneuver and and cool off too. So. Um, interested to hear any comments, feedback, or other ideas that you guys have for your own rib protection. I know um, some of the um, out-of-the-box armor, like Liat, has some um, hard, you know, protection built in, and and that may be a good route to go to. But I, w I was just looking for kind of an affordable, easy way to to uh, put something together with what I already had. So this works for me. Well, if you enjoyed this or it's thought provoking or anything, please um, do me a big favor and, and like and subscribe and I'll try to keep cranking out some interesting uh, videos and um, hope you guys all get out there and, and ride or do something fun uh, this month and, and um, stay tuned for more action from the mind of Bill. <laughs>